Yeah, three, two, one. G'day guys, here we are. Our learning intention is to discover uh, the perimeter of a shape with some measurements missing, okay? And the success criteria will be to use given measurements to determine the missing measurements. So this is how we're gonna succeed. Sometimes you're given some measurements and you can use those to find the rest of them. For example, here, look, oh, that's four, here's a rectangle I've drawn, by the way, not to scale. We know that this is four meters. We know that this is three meters. We know that's four meters. And we know this down here is 16 meters. We wanna find the, the perimeter, which is the pedge, the distance around the shape. So straight away, if that's 16, this is gonna be 16, okay? If that's four, well that's four, okay? Oh, we know that's four there, so this is gonna be four as well over here, okay? If only we had a measurement here. Oh, well, we do, look, that's three there, and so that's three, that's gonna be three there, isn't it? So then that means that's four plus three plus four, which is eight plus three, which is 11. So now we've got our full set of measurements that we can use. Okay, let's have a look at that in some more detail. Okay, here we are, have a look, we're in the teaching phase here. Here's a, here's a rectangle, I believe, it's a rectangle, and uh, we've got to find out the perimeter of it. And all the measurements aren't there, but we've got some measurements. Come with me, have a look. Here, uh, it's in metres, by the way. We know that this distance here is, this length is eight metres. Across here is 16 metres. This is 16 metres. Up along there, all the way there is 24 metres. Along there is eight metres, and along there is eight metres. Okay, how are we gonna find out the distance? Well, the perimeter, which is the length of the edge, right, the pedge, I, I like to say. How are we gonna find out the length of all the sides all together? We've gotta to determine the length of that side, the length of this side, the length of that side, the length of that side. We can do it given the measurements already given, like this. Okay, the first thing I can see is it's gonna be simple to work out the bottom of the shape. So you take what you can get. So let's work out the bottom of the shape. And I can see that's 16, so from there to there's gotta be 16. This is eight, isn't it? So from there to there's gotta be eight, so that means that bit's gotta be eight as well. And this here is eight, which means from there to there's gotta be eight as well. So bit by bit, you put it all together. This is gonna be 16, this is gonna be eight, that's gonna be eight, and then you can add those all together, which is 16 plus, well, uh, 16, which is 32. Okay, so we've got the bottom, great. If we've got the bottom and it's a rectangle, we've got the top. Now we've just got to do the side. And because it's a rectangle, if we've got one side, we'll get the other side. This is trickier. But it's possible, look, we know this is 16, don't we? So, well then this is gonna be 16, yes. We know that's eight, but we don't know what this is. But we do know this. This here is 24. From there to there is 24. From here to here is 16. From there to there is 24. And I haven't drawn it perfectly. I wish I had done a better job. But can you imagine that this line goes straight across and connects to that one? So then knowing that that's 24, well, that means from here to here, if that, from there to there is 24, then from here to here is 24. So we can pop down that. And then we know that from here to here is eight. So we can pop down that, which just means 24 plus eight, which is 32. And actually it's a square, which is a very specific type of rectangle. Okay, that's the teaching phase. You're gonna have a go at doing one. We're gonna have a go at doing one together. And three, two, one, here we are back, guys. We're doing one together now, uh, and we're gonna try and find the perimeter of this rectangle, and some of the, the dimensions or the measurements are missing. So let's have a look how, you, how we might go about that. We're in the together phase, so I invite you to pause me and think, what might you do first? Okay, I hope you paused me. Um, 
Here's what I might do first. I might start to actually just record what seems to be obvious to me. For example, um, if we know this is six meters, well then this is gonna be six meters here, isn't it? Um, that's also gonna be six up the top there. If that's three there, that's gonna be three there. Um, nothing else obvious strikes me at this point, though that's a good start. Okay, maybe that's helpful. What could we do next? I wonder if you've noticed that one um, entire length uh, is, 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 has been answered. I wonder if you can find where that is. Okay, it's the bottom and the top. We know that's six, we know that's three, and we know that's six. So we can say that's six, and I'm just gonna put an imaginary line there, I can do that. We know that's three, and we know that's six, so that's gonna be, Six is, well, that's going to be six. <laughs> so that's six plus six, which is 12, plus three, which all comes together to equal 15. And I might actually just leave those dimensions there. They might be helpful. But we know that's 15 metres. And we know up here, well, obviously that's six as well. And because it's a rectangle, we know that's 15 metres as well. So the top's 15, the bottom's 15. Hooray! Now I've just got to work out the sides. This is trickier. But it's all about this shape in here. I'll give you a hint. Again, we know that this is a nine here, because that's a nine. I'm gonna stop you, you um, have a think. What might you do next? Here's a hint, if you're not sure. We know that this shape ends here, doesn't it? And it starts there, yeah, and that's six meters, and that's perfectly in line. I'm gonna draw an invisible line there. That's perfectly in line with that. I wonder if that helps you somewhat. Did that help you any? Because it is possible to find this measurement or this, yes, this measurement here. You can actually find that value using this six. Using this six, you can find that value there. Pause me if you're not sure. Okay, it's got something to do with this nine. Using this six, you can find what this value is, relating it to this nine over here. Pause me if you wanna have a go at working it out. Okay, I wonder if you got it, if we know that that's six and we know that that's nine and that's six, but this is the same measurement, all of that together is nine as well, that's got to be 6 plus 3 to equal this 9 over here. Because this distance here, this length here is the same as that length there. It's the same length. And that's 9 metres. And that we've got 6 metres there. So in order to be 9 metres, this little bit here has got to be 3. So let's pop down that 3. I bet that's helpful. Can you see how helpful it is? Because if we can find this length here, we're done. We know that this is 12. Can this three help us out? What do you think? Pause me and have a go. Okay, I wonder if you worked out. If this is 12, right? Well, this three here belongs over there as well, doesn't it, obviously? I mean, if that distance there is three metres, that distance there is going to be three metres. So this becomes 12 plus three, which is 15. Again, 15 again. And of course, well, it's a, rect it's, it's a square, isn't it? Because that's 15 over there. This is going to be 15. So that's going to be 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 equals 60 metres. Time for you to have a go by yourself. We're in the tri-phase, guys. Here we are in the tri-phase. Uh, well, okay, you're gonna try this all by yourself. 16 across there, 16 across there, eight across there, eight up and down there, and 16 across there. Right, perimeter de detective. Perimeter detective that you are. Have a go. Okay, I hope you paused me and, and did have a go. Uh, the answer would be... Okay, and I've just filled in in blue all the ones that are obvious. 
So I know that's 16, so that's 16, that's 16. I know that's eight, that's gotta be eight, that's gotta be eight up there as well. I know that's 16, so that's gotta be 16, and this has gotta be 16. So straight away, there's a few things clear there. So 16 plus eight is 24, plus another 16 equals a 40. Right, we know that's eight, we know that's eight, we know that's 16, so it's gotta be eight, eight plus 16, which equals 32. And there we're done really, aren't we? Because it's a rectangle, so that's 40, the top's 40, that's 32, the other side's gonna be 32, which gives us a total of 144 metres. Okay, guys, this has been Teach Together Try. I hope you have worked out somehow how to, somehow how to be a detective when it comes to finding uh, the perimeter of uh, shapes or rectangles uh, with missing measurements. Okay, see you later.